Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you an online exclusive bundle. It's called the Timeless Charm Bundle. It has this super cute stamp set, the Timeless Charm stamp set, and bundled with that is the Timeless Charm die set. Um, there's 13 dies. There's these ones that are a little more intricate, and then there's the dies that kind of just cut these images out. Very, very fun. I wanted to show you a fun technique that I've come up with using this Timeless Charms bundle. I call it the positive and negative die technique. So we're gonna start with just a plain piece of basic white cardstock. This is a five and a half by four and a quarter piece. And we're going to just use the intricate dies from this die set. And I'm just gonna place them all over on my piece of basic white. I want to kind of take up that whole entire white space. So one of the things that I do is I run this through and then if I have a few other places left, I'll take one of the smaller pieces and just run it through again. Let me show you what I mean. I have already done this sheet just like I said and cut all of those little pieces out. So I'm using both pieces, this negative piece and the positive images that were cut out of this piece, okay? I'm gonna use this five and a half by four and a quarter piece as my card front, but I wanna cut it down to a five and a quarter by four piece. The reason that I wanna do that is because I want some of these um, die cuts to be going off of the page. Just to keep it a little cleaner and easier to work with, I, I cut it a little bigger to start with, and now I'm gonna cut it down to that five and a quarter by four size. So I'm just going to take an eighth inch off of each side. And you want to do it pretty carefully because with it kind of cut out already, those edges become really delicate, just like that. So now you have some images that are kind of going off the page too, you can see, okay? So let me show you now what I'm going to do to create these two cards, both the negative and the positive. I'm gonna show you the negative first. So I want to have a fun background to put behind my negative image. I'm going to use just a plain piece of basic white cardstock cut to that same size, five and a quarter by four, that's gonna go right behind this negative image. But I'm gonna add some interest to this piece. I'm going to do an ombre effect with four pink colors here. Petal pink, flirty flamingo, melon mambo, and berry burst and then we're gonna set it behind there. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna start with petal pink. I always start with my lightest color and go toward my darkest color when I'm doing this blending look. So I'll use these, this little mini blending brush and get some ink on there. And then I'm just always gonna start off of the page and then blend onto the page. Blending usually takes a few different layers. So it takes a minute to do. Not difficult, just time consuming. But you'll slowly start to see that color transferring onto my basic white paper. And again, I always start off of the page and then move onto the page so that I don't get any of these really harsh lines on my project. It's on the grid paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna move on to my next color, which is gonna be Flirty Flamingo. And just kind of that same thing, I'm just gonna work my way down my page. And I know with, this is the second color of my four colors, so I, want to basically make it to halfway on my sheet with this color, just like that. Okay, next I'm going to use Melon Mambo. 
And I really love these colors together. They're all of the pink family, but you can see it almost goes from an orange hue into purple, you'll see. Because my last one I'm gonna do is Berry Burst, and it is more purple, but it's, they still all have that pink together. So it makes a really cool, almost sun, sunset kind of look. And we'll end with that Berry Burst on the bottom. I got some little brush strokes there, but it'll be okay. Just like that. So this is going to be the background image of my negative piece. And I'll just adhere that just like that. And let me show you the finished card. I stamped a cute flower and a saying, thanks for all you do. Just added a little ribbon and you get a really, really cool effect on that card using the negative space. So fun. Okay, let me show you one other idea. You're gonna use the pieces that you cut out from your negative space. The, this is gonna be the positive card. Okay, so I'll just get another piece of five and a quarter by four um, basic white cardstock. So the same size makes it pretty easy. And we're just going to glue these white die cuts right onto the white background. In order to do that, I like to use Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I like to call it green glue. Um, this is really nice for some of these really intricate dies. I usually like to start with my bigger images to take up as much space as I can and then I'll fill in with my smaller images. And just like on the negative card, I like to have some hang off the side so that it doesn't look incomplete when it's all just on the page. Okay, so once those are all glued on, then I take some paper snips and I turn it over and I just clip off any of those pieces that are hanging off the edge. Just like that. And you have a super pretty, just basic white, pretty elegant looking background there. So let me show you the card that I created using this background. I used Lost Lagoon and I stamped some of these cute leaves in there and then just put them behind that thanks for all you do. And I thought that card looked super elegant and fun. So we have two different card ideas using the negative and positive die technique. You have your negative look and your positive look and they come together so easy and so fun and you're using all of the pieces of paper from running them through one time. The Timeless Charm Bundle that's available right now as an online exclusive is perfect for this negative and positive die technique. I've had so much fun playing with it. I can't wait to play a little bit more. If you have any questions or you're interested in this product, make sure to click the links below and make sure to share it with a friend. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.